everybody. Thanks for joining me today. Today I am setting up my bullet journal for March. Um, February was a little rough. I actually barely used it and that was more so because I hated the layout. But I've written more about that on my blog if you're interested on my thoughts there. But in this video we are setting up my March bullet journal. Um, I went for a perfume and florals theme and I actually redid a old dashboard um, you already have what it takes um, I made one when I first started lettering digitally and so this was fun to kind of redo and put together but I'm using the art philosophy watercolors from a variety of sets I have them linked down below so you can see where they're from and I drew a perfume bottle with some leaves and floral and a flower <laughs> and I used watercolor again it was more so waiting for everything to dry that was the biggest delay in the setup and I actually went back to my older layouts that I did for 2022 just I wasn't really using what I was trying differently for February and January Jan January it was the first month that is what it is but come February I still wasn't using those layouts so I just went back to what I knew and also what's quick and easy to set up I mean that's at the end of the day all that matters when you're doing bullet journaling is if it works for you and if something's taking up way too much energy then it's not worth it I mean if you look at the bullet journaling community as a whole we at least the people I follow <laughs> I find we spend more time on our cover pages and then when it comes to our weeklies we basically just get it done so that's definitely something it can be super easy to be overwhelmed when you see these beautiful cover pages and watercolor and whatnot but also pay attention to what's happening in the rest of the journal and how simplistic the rest of the journal looks. Um, I know Plant Based Bride has her rolling weeklies and then there are a few other accounts that you can check out as well that I've tagged down below and just see that yes it's all pretty but once you get to the actual nitty gritty of the journal which is the weeklies <laughs> everybody tends to gravitate toward what they like so or what's easy and what's functional so um that's my ted talk for today on bullet journaling <laughs> but we can get back into my <laughs> march layout i've actually wanted to do a perfume theme for a while now and just you know march with spring coming i thought a perfume theme would be fun i'm tying in the florals without making it just about florals and then you have the perfume um, I have the files I use stickers in my journal and those stickers are available as digital downloads for my email subscribers in my from blank to brilliant library so you can go check that out um, if you want those free downloadables I'm now setting up my calendar page <laughs> it's really funny because I went from using this page the least to using this page the most um, especially when my kids started getting into activities again, um, this calendar page became critical. <laughs> it became my control center. For my brush pens, I'm actually using Calliographs from Archer and Olive. Uh, these are from a variety of sets. I believe the Jungle subscription box is where most of them are from, and then the Jewel collection. I do love these. Um, there's a thicker brush tip on one end, which is comparable to the Tombow and then, or the Tombow brush pen, <laughs> and then a thinner tip, which is comparable to the Tombow Food No Suke. So I just love that you have the option to have your bigger brush with bigger lettering, and then also to just use it for smaller lettering, like I did for my days of the week. I still outline my letters because I just love how crisp it looks. And then I grabbed some washi tape. Um, two of the rolls I bought years ago. Um, and then the one, the other roll is actually from, I don't know, a local drugstore where Scotch 3M was selling um, washi, which if you're familiar, it's not the best washi, but I really like this one. So yeah, <laughs> I, that's it's pink with gold dots on it so that's why I decided to use that one and it also ties into the theme nicely as always I am outlining my pages um, not always the neatest but that's fine it kind of takes away the pressure from messing up the page 
So I kind of like it. It's like a security blanket <laughs> almost. And then I'm adding shadowing to my um, calligraphy using a grey Tombow marker. And here you see me adding washi tape again with my perfume stickers over top. You can't see them too well on camera, but they're there. And then this stamp is actually from Notebook Therapy. They have a tracker set. Um, honestly, <laughs> I've probably used this stamp maybe twice, three times. Um, but it's nice to have when I do need it. So I'm adding in my habits that I'm tracking. I feel like this is a lot of habits to track, but it's important for me to stay focused and kind of buckle down. So I'm tracking my water. I want to start working out again. For my reading, I have a lot of textbooks that I've acquired that I would like to read. Um, I want to get back into my drawing practice. I have the 365 art prompts from Bonnie Christine. Um, bedtime, I'm getting really bad about going to bed too late. And also blue screen really does affect my anxiety. So I need to stop doing that. Um, eating clean, self-care, and then tracking my art journaling. So I want to do more art journaling. And then I have my notes page and we're into the weeklies. So this weekly setup is my favorite, favorite, favorite weekly setup um, to do. The horizontal with the big squares where you can add lots on the sides. You have a ton of room to write stuff down. And then I realized I never filled out that bottom box. But I will keep you posted on what I decide to put in there. I might do a memory keeping aspect in there because that could be fun. But as of yet, I have not decided what I want to put in there. <laughs> so I hope you've been inspired by this setup. If you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to let me know. I'd love to answer them. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching today and I will see you in the next one.